just had a deliverer, so I thought I'd make a quick update. Um, Corsair Dominator, 1866 MHz. 99924 at 165 volts three sticks extremely difficult to get at the minute nobody can seem to get hold of any um, a lot of places to pre-order a lot of places aren't expecting till after Christmas after the new year um, I've managed to get hold of some um, which I'm happy about dogs also very happy about it hey to Tilly you happy about it? Yep, see, she's happy. Extremely happy. Yep, um, really high quality chips used for this RAM. Um, to get them to run at 1866 at 165 volts just seems like ridiculous. Um, extremely low voltage. Um, same design as the other triple channel. Um, I don't see these being really performance wise any faster than the 1600 MHz I've got um, but it's just how I am I suppose I wanted the 1866 and if they do happen to bring out any 2000 MHz then I want them to um, they've still got that horrible sticker over the nice um, heat sinks kind of spoils them still use the crappy Packaging, some Stand. nasty clear stuff. Um, I mean, the sticker they put on this, this sticker's even on upside down. I mean, that's just like uh, makes it even worse. It's bad enough that it's on there, and then it's upside down. Um, I think the, I'm hope, well, I'm hoping that the heat sinks will come off. Um, I'm just having a quick look down the side. It looks like. They probably won't, which is a bit of a fucking shit. Um, they have got um, Allen key nuts on the top, three of them. So I suppose that would remove, and you could maybe try and pop these off. Um, it looks to me, I don't know if you're going to see down there, that it's. They use sticky pads, which is a real nightmare to get them off. Um, I've tried before with Corsair RAM. And I just ended up ripping the, the memory chips off with it. Not all of them, but like one or two that came off as you try and pry it off. Um, that's why I normally go for the OCZ because they come off a lot easier. Um, I was looking at the OCZ Cell, um, cell Shock um, 1866 megahertz, and they actually use thermal paste on the inside of theirs, which is. I, know, I think that they also do thermal paste to be honest, um, rather than those thermal pads. They're horrible. Um, yeah, so that's the, the memory, 1866. Um, they include the lovely Corsair Dominator Airflow fan. I don't like these fans at all. I know a lot of people do. Well, no offence to them. They've all got their own tastes. But no, not really my cup of tea. It's obviously slightly wider than the other ones because it's got to cover six slots rather than just the, the normal four. Um, but yeah, I, I, not really my cup of tea. I don't see how this will help in any way. I mean, the heat coming from these at 165 volts is going to be minor anyway. And this really isn't going to do anything for them. Um, whether um, this 1.65 volts thing turns out to be a complete myth um, then maybe the, it would maybe come in handy because obviously you, you want to over volt and maybe try and keep them a bit cooler um, but I don't really know whether um, 165 is the limit um, I was using 1.7 on my um, 1600 megahertz to overclock them slightly I mean, I had no problems. Um, people are doing tests at the minute, um, trying out different voltages. Um, people are running up to two volts, and they've been running at two volts since they've had the chip, um, with no signs of any 
problems at all. But whether the problems will come later or sooner, you, you just don't, I don't know. Um, so until there's any sort of real uh, official word or at least word from someone who really knows what they're talking about, then I'm probably not going to go too mad. I mean, I'd probably push maybe one eight, but I wouldn't. I wouldn't go for two volts. It just seems a little high. Maybe if you're using phase change or um, cooling the um, processor like down to sub zero, maybe that maybe makes a difference. But I don't know. Um, but anyway, yeah, I've got the 1866 megahertz. Um, I'm gonna try them out and. And that's that's it really. Um Okay, thank you. Try me. You've been told to butt out, Sloan.